Hi, this is Luca. Welcome to a new research paper summary by martechpost.com. Today, we are going to talk about a quite recent research task called Image Sentiment Transfer. The paper I will present you has been published by the University of Rochester in the US. Image Sentiment Transfer focuses on a high-level modification of the overall look and feel of an image, without altering its scene content. This task is different from other well-known existing tasks, such as image-to-image -image translation, used for example to translate the image of a winter landscape in a summer one, or image style transfer, which is instead used to transfer the artistic style of an image in another image. Thanks to image sentiment transfer, a neutral or negative sentiment image can be translated into a positive and warm image without changing its content. Other works in the literature claim that this research topic is potentially important for its therapeutic uses, since we live in an age of anxiety and stress. One of the main challenges of image sentiment transfer is that different kinds of objects may require different ways to transfer their sentiments. In this figure, to obtain a positive image from the input image, the water should become blue and clear, while the bird should become colorful. These two operations should be based on different reference images. Otherwise, you can see how the modified images become quite unrealistic if we decide to use a single reference image to transform both the water and the bird. To address this challenge, the researchers propose a framework that performs image sentiment transfer at the object level. In a first step, given an input image, the framework uses image captioning and semantic segmentation models to detect the objects of the figure, extracting their pixel level masks. In a second step, for each detected object, its sentiment is transformed based on a specific reference image that contains the same object. For the core object level sentiment transfer, the researchers propose a sentiment aware GAN, called SentiGAN, that we are going to describe in the following slides. Now, let's see in detail how the proposed sentiment aware GAN works. Given an input image, SentiGAN uses a content encoder and a style encoder to decompose an image into a content code and a style code. Moreover, an object level style encoder is also used to obtain the style code of each object present in the image. The content code preserves the spatial aware content information of the object, such as textures and edges. The style code preserves instead the global style information of the object, such as the overall color. Thanks to the style encoder, after the training process we will have a latent distribution from which we can generate the style of new data which have similar characteristics to the style of the data of our dataset. At the same time, thanks to the content encoder, we will obtain a latent distribution useful to generate new content data. These latent distributions will be useful to train the Sandigan, as we will see later. In addition, Sandigan contains a decoder that can generate an image given a content code and a style code as input. At the same time, Sandigan contains also an object-level decoder that can generate a new image based on the content code of an input image and applying to the object of the input image the style of the objects of a reference image. Hence, after the training process, the idea is to use multiple times this object-level decoder to generate an image that has the same content as the input image while applying to the objects of the input image the style of the objects of different reference images. Now, let's focus on the loss functions used to train this sentiment-aware GAN. The image reconstruction loss is used to minimize the difference between an input image and the image generated by the decoder by using the content and the style codes of the input image. The object reconstruction loss is similar to the previous one, but it focuses on the object level style of the input image. Then, given the content code of an image and the style code of an object sampled by the style latent distribution, the decoder can generate a new image. The style reconstruction loss is used to minimize the difference between the style of the object generated by the decoder 
and the style of the object sampled from the Latin distribution. At the same time, the content reconstruction loss is used to minimize the difference between the content generated by the decoder and the one used as input by the decoder itself. Moreover, an adversarial loss function is used to force the images generated by the decoder to be indistinguishable from real images. Unfortunately, we still have a problem to solve. In this figure, we can see the image generated by using the content code of the input image and the style code of the birds of the reference image. You can notice how, in the final image, there is still residual color-based information preserved in the content code of the object of the first image. To solve this problem, the researchers applied the following constraint during the training process. The content code of the generated object must be globally close to the content code of the object of the reference image, in order to preserve also the color-based information of the reference object. At the same time, the content code of the generated object must be locally close to the content code of the input object, in order to preserve its texture and edge information. The loss used to perform this process is called content disentanglement loss. And that's all. This was a possible solution to face the image sentiment transfer task. Did you like it? If yes, leave a like on this video. I hope to see you again in the next research paper summary by martechpost.com.